what is it actually we are talking about when we talk about computational design? I have quite often been in situations where the expectation that I have had to what we were talking about were quite different from the expectations of the person I was talking with. So I think sometimes there may be as many ideas of what computational design is than there may be people in the room. With this video here, I want to align those definitions so we can kind of talk about the same thing at the same time and avoid misunderstandings. So the first definition of computational design is what I would call generative design. That is when we feed the computer some information and we don't really know what to expect. Or we feed the computer some information and it spits out a whole load of different answers to that. This is something that we often use in optimization, we use it in optioneering, and we use it to basically do design exploration. This is a situation where the computer is the designer and we are kind of guiding its decisions. So I've been doing this myself when I've been doing, for example, a pile layout, and I wanted the computer to generate various suggestions for me. And by letting the computer generate a hundred different variations, they have better been able to, to choose the ones they actually like. The good thing about this here is that you can generate thousands of variations. You can make better design decisions because you actually know what you're deciding between and you can deliver a better product. The bad thing about this here is that it's actually really, really hard. You often need to understand your problem so well that you may actually already be able to derive the best answer. So this is not an easy exercise. Another thing is that it often comes as a cost on top of a project. So it's something that needs to be thought about quite carefully whether it brings value to a project or not. The second definition of computational design is within the field of automation. You take a process that you already do and you automate it. Where computational design is a bit different from the typical definition of automation is that our scripts are often very geometry based. It's requiring a lot of user input along the way and they're very adaptable. So if you have a process that takes a lot of time, it's really, really boring, then you can develop some tools to make that process a lot faster without losing the flexibility to actually provide user input along the way. The good thing about this is that you, you save a lot of time and you avoid a lot of dull and boring work. And there's no real downside to this. The only thing is that you get just what you ask for, nothing more, nothing less. The third definition is a way of thinking, a way of working, a computational mindset. And this is probably the definition that I believe can bring the most values to companies. If you have people that are able to ask the question, can the computer do this here for me faster and better than I can myself? If the answer is yes, then maybe I should let the computer do it. I really believe that a lot of engineering potential and talent are not really being fully utilized because so much effort is being put into boring and dull tasks when people could be spending more time on actually solving the problems of a project. I know this is incredibly simple to say, and of course it's not so black and white in reality, but the mindset of having the computer as an extension of yourself rather than just a bulky calculator is the entire essence of a computational mindset. So I hope these three definitions have given you a way to talk about computational design in a better way. And if you are in a meeting with people, at least you can now figure out what are they actually talking about. So I hope you found this useful and uh, follow along for more videos in the future. Thank you.